we have entered the Holy Mosque of Masjid Al Kufa, and we have entered it from a door called Bab al Thu'aban, the door of the snake. This is a well-known door. It's a mashhur door. Each door in the Masjid of Kufa has many beautiful stories and events, such as the door of Kinda. The door of Kinda is the door in which Al Khudr entered to meet Amir al Mu'mineen. It is the door in which Abu Hamza al Thumani first saw Imam al Sajjad. The door we just entered from, the door behind me, is Bab al Thu'aban. Shaykh al Mufid, in his Irshad, narrates the incident of the Thu'aban. He narrates, he says they have narrated the historians and the, the traditionists have narrated that Amir al Mu'mineen, the commander of the faithful, peace be upon him, was sitting here in the masjid giving a speech. He was giving a speech when all of a sudden the people sitting down began to jump and they were terrified as a snake entered from the door and it went through the groups of people and it got towards Amir al The snake crawled up on the pulpit. Amir al Mu'mineen bent over. The snake opened its mouth very wide and it began to make a croaking sound, almost like the sound that you hear when you walk on dry wood. The people were listening to this and they were surprised. They're like, what is going on here? I feel as if the commander of the faithful is going to be eaten by the snake. So they all took out their swords to try to kill the snake. Amir al Mu'mineen alayhi salam told them, no. They talked for a while. The snake, in one hadith, it says that the snake, the ground swallowed it up. In another narration, the snake left to the same door. After this, Amir al Mu'mineen, peace be upon him, said, They came to him, they asked him, O commander of the faithful, what has happened here? What is this ajab? What is this wonder we saw right now? We're surprised. Inform us. The Imam السلام, told them. He told them, this snake is a jinn from the jinns of the Muslimin, who is my Khalifa, the leader that I have appointed on the jinn. His name is Amr ibn Uthman. He came to me. He had a problem in, this, in the jinn world. In one hadith, he said that he had a problem and a case, and they needed Amir al salam to solve this case for them. In a different report, narrated by Shaykh al Kulaini in his kafi, as well as other alam, they say that the snake, his father just died. His father just died. And he wants to know what instructions Amir Mu'min alayhi salam should give him. So he said, I am Abr ibn Uthman, your appointed successor in the world of the jinn. My father has died and he has instructed me in his will to come to you to get your opinion on a situation. The commander said, I command you to be devout and to leave from here and go to your post for you are now the appointed leader of the jinn. The jinn then parted ways from the commander of the faithful. And this narration is mashur. As Sayyid al Murtada al Huda narrates it. Sayyid Hashim al Bahrani, if you want a list of all these hadith, refer to his Mosu'a, Madid al Ma'ajis, the city of miracles, and you will find this hadith. And it is important, and I will end with this here the kalam of Shaykh al-Mufid concerning this incident. Shaykh al-Mufid says, often the ignorant among the people regard the appearance of the jinn in the form of animals which cannot speak to be impossible. However, there are well-known reports by the Arabs 
before the mission of the Prophet and after it. And reports from people belonging to Islam corroborate to it. Is this report more unlikely than the report which agreed of, upon intifaq between all the Muslims on the apparent appearance of the devil to the people of the assembly of an old man from Najd and his agreement with them to deceive the Apostle of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Wasallam or the appearance of the polytheist at the Battle of Badr in the form of Saraqa ibn Ja'sham al-Madaji or Saraqa ibn Ja'sham al-Madluji Shaykh al-Mufid is telling you guys this report is nothing to be ajeeb of we have reports in the books of the Muslimin about the jinn in the form of a man from Najd tried to deceive the Apostle of Allah and kill him so why is it when it comes to Amir al-Mumin you begin to ask questions Shaykh al-Mufid says all, listen to this, listen to this. All who continue to find faults with the signs which have been mentioned only say about them as the atheists and unbelievers among the opponents of the religion say. They find fault with them the same way they find fault with the signs of the Prophet Sheikh Al-Mufid says the one who comes to discuss these issues is the same one as the atheist, the non-believer, or the mushrik who finds fault in the ayat of Rasulullah saying you Rasulullah have no miracles that's the manzila of the Muslim who denies this incident this mashhur incident which has been recorded in the books of history time and time again 1400 years ago in this holy mosque Amir Amun alayhi salam spoke to this jinn and told him to be devout to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that is the story here of this Bab al thuban Insha'Allah, we will continue and go to a different part of the masjid and narrate to you another beautiful historic event. Bi'idnillah ta'ala. Here in this holy mosque, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgave Adam. It is here in this holy mosque where Adam in this mosque supplicated to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and did tawassul with the names that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had taught him.